All right, go for it. Okay, so when when I first started, I was up in the robotics program with Mr. Bartels in the upper school, and I thought, wow, these computers are really cool. And I was mainly using them for Inventor, which is 3D CAD drawing, and Unity 3D, which is like game making and stuff. So after that, I really needed a computer for myself because I was sharing one with my mom at the time. And so I thought, man, why don't I just make one of these? It's educational and also be pretty cool. So when I first built it, I thought that it actually was going to be like really hard. And then after I did it, I was like, wow, this is quite easy. Why, should, why not share it with everybody? So on a raise of hands, some of y'all may have a computer that looks like this or like this. Yeah. How would you like a computer that looks like this? Oh, that's sweet. That's oh, that's that's like oh yeah. My dad yeah. is yeah. the one that did it. I went to Bartell like quite so, a couple of those. Yeah, this is a, this yeah. is a similar one. It's a little it's more cool. decorative. But, okay, so you would make a computer like this. Whoa, cool. How many of you think that this is the computer? No, it's a monitor. That computer. That's a monitor. That's a monitor. Yeah, that's How a many of you think this is the computer? Smart. The, this is the monitor, and this is the computer. Yeah. yeah. So think of the big box, as some of my friends call it, as the brain, and the monitor as the projector. The computer is, think of it as Mr. Bell's Chromebook here. So without the screen, you just have the computer. And there's a wire going from into the wall and up to the projector. It's projecting the image that the computer makes. So on Mr. Bartels' computer, there's a wire that will run to the monitor to project the image. So the CPU. The CPU, or central processing unit, is what makes the computer do things right. Um, it sends, the CPU sends messages to all different parts of the computer and tells it how to run. The CPU is located in the middle of the motherboard, which I'll show you later. So the SSD, or solid state drive, is the best way to go with storage. You could do a spinning disk drive, but they're not as reliable as SSDs. They come in all different amounts of storage. Some are only 250 gigabytes, whereas others are 4 terabytes, 4,000 gigabytes. So the power supply. The power supply is what feeds power to all the components in the computer. It sends the wire to the motherboard, the SSD, the video card, and some other components in it, the computer. Um, power supplies come in all different types of ranges, from platinum and titanium is the highest, bronze is the lowest, and then gold and silver in the middle and other stuff. So the video card. The video card is the piece that runs the graphics. Each year they come out with a new one and a better one. They have the 970s, 1080s, and so on. Some computers have multiple GPUs and others just have one. Um, some video cards are decorative and others just plain. So this is a more decorative one over here on the right. This is a less decorative one. So this is actually a double GPU computer. And in the, in the center, there's an SLI bridge that helps them work together. So they're not working separately. So the RAM sticks are random access memory. Um, I actually learned something a little new today. It's actually my definition is a little bit um, wrong. But it helps the computer run faster when doing multiple tasks. So the SSD is kind of like when you download a video, your video will go to the SSD. So your RAM sticks are only in use when you have programs open and you're running them. So the CPU cooler. In my opinion, I do think this is kind of funny because you have the CPU, which is about this big, and the CPU cooler, which can be about this big. Um, you can guess it does cool the CPU. Some of them are just fans, and then others use water. So this is just a fan CPU cooler, and this is a water-cooled CPU. Does it like spin this? Does it spin what? Does it spring this? No. So what it does is there's a water, water right up here. And then the water was pumped through these cords. Then on the other side, there's a pad that's flat. And then when the water hits the pad, it cools down. So then it'll cool the CPU, which is on the CPU. And the water will be pumped and reused again to come back through. Because what would happen if you actually pumped water into a computer, an electrical machine? Yeah. 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 
Yeah. yeah. So the heat is also caused by the electricity going through the computer. Yeah. Um, the water cooling ones, though, do show better performance for less cost. It's kind of cool. Interesting. Um, the motherboard is a component that allows all the components to interact, like the RAM sticks, video card, the CPU. Um, some of the mother motherboards are very expensive, and others are kind of cheap. You have to find one that's in the middle of the right price. So this is where the CPU would go in the center. And then right here, you would have your RAM sticks. Some motherboards actually have two, four more slots for, for RAM sticks right here. So you can do more RAM. And then this is where the video cards could go. And this is where you could actually try to do three video cards. So the case. The case is the part that holds all the components we just talked about. Some are very unique, whereas others are just average. This is where I would go all out, because you see it the most. Um, so this one lights up, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this one's actually yeah, very, this, this one's similar to Mr. Martell, it's in black. Yeah. And the, the case size is a little different. But, and then this one, is, its design is really cool, but it doesn't light up, so. Cool, too. And thank you for watching. find all this stuff like do you find it online do they they ship it to you or yeah, so I went on newegg.com this is where I bought everything mm -hmm. oh it's like a computer mm -hmm. and right now is it, is it that cheap or is everything pretty cheap? Having everything a sale for they're, they're having a sale for like is yeah. it like is like everything ten bucks or is everything no everything well here I'll show you here here's my computer that I built okay so it has three CPU, the CPU cooler, the motherboard, the RAM six, that's the speed. That's a lot. So how so the total price was? Uh, about twenty four hundred including the monitor and keyboard. Twenty four hundred? What actually? Yeah. Oh, look at your computer. Um this is a close picture to it. So this would be like the inside of the case basically. There's a close picture. Wait, didn't you have to like, just like buy one by yourself? Just buy one, or yeah, does so it cost more? Yeah, so the ones It costs less to build it. But, like, so actually, if I had gotten mine, like, already built, it would probably cost a lot more. Have you guys ever heard the word parts and labor? Yeah. yeah. When, so, when, you, when you buy things, uh, you're also paying for people to make it for you. Yeah. Or robots to make it for you. So it's. Alright, so you're saying building is the way to go? Yeah, it's a, it's a lot okay. cheaper. Well, it, it depends on, on what your goals are too. I mean, a lot of most of us, for the, the stuff that we we tend to do on a day to day basis, we just walk into Best Buy, get a pre made machine, and it'll work fine. But the stuff that Drew's trying to do, and Mr. Bartel is is trying to get more of us to do, is a lot more high powered things that you can't do, at least not well or effectively or quickly on a store bought you know, Best Buy, Dell laptop, or sometimes even a MacBook, which are very powerful machines. Uh, the kind of machine that, and, and the reason that, that Drew wanted to do something that was more f customizable, we'll say, is that he wanted to um, have the ability to upgrade. Because that, that's a lot harder to do. When you buy like a MacBook, for instance, they don't want you to upgrade a part of it. They don't want you to get a better video card or a better DVD drive or whatever it is. They want you to buy a whole new computer. So it's like every couple of years they, you know, they kind of make their old stuff obsolete. They want you to buy a new one. In Drew's case, if like his video card breaks or is just not as good as he wants it to be anymore, all he has to do is replace just the video card. How much was that on Newegg? My video card? Yeah. About 600. So 600 bucks as opposed to buying a brand new $2,400 computer just to replace one part. So it's, you know, there's, there's a lot of advantages to it. Wait, what kind of video nice card was it? Dr. Collins. It was a 10 Which one? A 10 camera. The new is one? Yeah. My brother. Yeah. Did you like so I click on camera and it does. Yeah, you can buy used parts. Wait. 
Uh, here, that's, that's a hardware problem. So, let me get you one. Well, I, I told out the columns that you need to learn. Okay. How many of you would like to build a computer in here? But you may find your actions on the Yeah, I'm in here. I hope my dad. I really do. Haha, okay. Alright, uh, any other quick questions for Drew? Are we good? Wait, what was that website called again? New Edit. Uh, yeah. uh, how many video cards did you have in yours? Um, in mine, I have one right now. But I'd like to get a second one for my next computer. Is newegg.com, is it like just computer parts or is it like drones like we saw? I believe they have drones. It's a lot of electronics. And Tiger Direct is another good one. Check this. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Hey guys, can we thank Drew for his time and effort? Thank you.